The Union Cabinet had cleared the deal for 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets at 45,696 crores, and it doesn't mean that each fighter jet would cost around 550 crore rupees, and the cost might include additional spares logistics support and simulators, as the Air Force wanted three full-scale simulators in previous negotiations. Hindustan Aeronautics and General Electric are set to conclude a deal for 100 F-404 engines to power 83 Mark 1A fighters, which could mean that 17 more engines will be procured at $7 million per unit cost. Officials have said today, that the Tejas Mark 1A will be integrated with the indigenously developed 30 km range Garuda and 100 km range Garutma precision guided glide munitions, and the Astra Mark 1 initially and Astra Mark 2 in later phase, and these indigenous systems will vastly enhance its air-to-air -air and air-to-ground strike capability. As the Tejas Mark 1A fighters will have 60% level of indigenization, majority of the funds will remain in India to build a strong aircraft ecosystem, and will be helpful with the upcoming medium weight fighter and AMCA program, both of which are set to start first metal cutting in 2021. The European firm Thales has offered its Mac 4 capable Star Streak missile to the Indian Army under the Make in India initiative and it plans to locally manufacture them with Bharat Dynamics Limited. The company has said, that the Star Streak Man Portable Air Defense System is superior to all competitors, as it has three laser-guided dots that cannot be jammed by any known countermeasures, and it can also engage targets with very low radar cross-section at a range of 7 kilometers. Thales had already signed a memorandum of understanding to assess the opportunity for the transfer of technology of the Star Streak missile capability to India with the support of the Government of the United Kingdom. The formal announcement of the shipyard for the upcoming six next generation missile vessel worth $2.2 billion is yet to be announced by the Indian Navy. But Koa Shipyard Limited has announced that it has emerged as the overall lowest bidder in the project. Under this program the Navy intends to acquire six advanced missile corvettes, that will be equipped with BrahMos anti-ship missiles and indigenous long-range cruise missiles, and these 2,500-ton class vessels will also have advanced stealth features like low radar cross-section, and low infrared acoustic and magnetic signature. The Rafale fighter jets of the French Air Force have arrived in India for the Skyros 2021 air exercise with the Su-30 and Rafale fighters of the Indian Air Force, and the exercise will also see the participation of AWACS and electronic warfare assets. The exercise will be conducted between 19th and 25th January, which would see complex combat maneuvers by the fighters of both the Air Forces. Officials have said, that India will have 21 nuclear-capable Rafale fighters in its arsenal by April 2021, which means that the first Rafale squadron at the Ambala Air Base will be completely ready, and the second Rafale squadron at the Hasimara Air Base in West Bengal will also receive its first three Rafale fighters by April. An Indian Army major has indigenously developed the world's first bulletproof jacket that can be used by both male and female soldiers, and this Sakti jacket is also the world's first flexible body armor, that will absorb the impact and stop the projectiles. The Indian Army Chief has given directions to its One Corps, which is one of the three predominant strike corps focused on Pakistan, and it will now be restructured and deployed as the second mountain strike corps for the Ladakh sector, while the 17 mountain strike corps will now become the strategic reserve dedicated only to the northeast, and it will be restructured into three four integrated battle groups. The Indian Army Chief also said, that he has cleared the proposal to induct women helicopter pilots in Army Aviation, and it will start from the next course that begins in July 2021.